How much do you love your nieces? I don't. I think kids are annoying and my nieces are just evidence of my opinion. That eventually is a fact. I just painfully dislike them all, you know. A week after he came to live with the family again. Leo, look, this cactus is for you. Whoa, it's marvelous. I remember holding you like this, but more awkwardly. <laughs> I mean, you were the first child born, and I just never had a baby before. You cried with Papa, but you laughed for the first time when I held you. <laughs> Theo. Yeah? I, um, you never finished on what happened with the love between George and Maria, and you know... <laughs> I wanted to know what happened next. You listen to my novellas. Kinda like that. Yeah, I've always listened to it since you left. Okay! Ahem. George, you know we can't love each other anymore. Pero por qué no, Maria? I want to be with you. But we can't. We can't be with her. Because... You're my cousin! <gasps> You're my cousin? <laughs> so, how old are you? I'm five. Hmm... But did you believe all the stories from people when they talked about me? Not like Camilo, I mostly wasn't interested in people telling me about how my uncle was portrayed. Abuela told me you never interested in this family. Mom told me that you would ruin her wedding. You're annoying. She hated your guts. Camilo told me that you will haunt me in my dreams. But other than that, when you talked about you secretly, of course. Tia Hoyata told me she missed you every day. Dad told me you were crazy, but a great father-in-law. Theo Augustine will laugh and tell me stories when you guys always played as superheroes. Really bad at Christian people, by the way. So we just couldn't talk about Bruno, though. For someone who is small, you're quite a special child. <laughs> Sir. Maybe I like them a little. Uh -huh.